First and ten, and they keep it on the ground with Mercer Timmis, who has a huge hole. He makes the most Second of it. Second and ten for Calgary from their own 51. Buckley has time, throws it over the middle, and it is complete. Receivers to the left side. They will give the ball to the big red truck. Mercer Timmis, who has a lane and sees the end zone and finds the promised land. Touchdown, University of Calgary. Toba ball at their own 12-yard line. Yance. Moving in the pocket, taking off with the ball, and this is what he does so well. Across the 25, 30, 35, 40, up across the 45, up to the 51. Line. Yance turns and hands the ball off to LaFrance. He's got a bit of a seam. Nice dance in there as he gets across the 30, the 25. Here. This time Yance will go to the air, though, feels the pressure, sails it up. Touchdown, Manitoba Bisons! Keenan LaFrance on the receiving end. It's yards at the end of the season. On the second and 10, Yance has time, throws complete for Nick Dembski, gets his shoulders upfield and drives ahead and will get the first. Going three by two with Ty Lue in the backfield as Buckley goes back to pass, he steps up, will call his own number, he'll get the first down easily as he slides over the 40 yard. Buckley has time, sails it over the middle, it is caught, touchdown! Calgary Dinos, Jake Hardy. Long loses track of him and then he's able to come in behind him right in the middle of the end zone there. Nice and down and 10 will call it for the Bisons. Yance has time, now flush from the pocket. Trying to straight arm and he is sacked. Tyler Langley. But Yance trying to get away there. Nice job by Langley to, to drag him down and stay lateral. Maybe some uh, unexpected speed there by Langley to make a, a great play, big sack. And Buckley will go to the air, has all sorts of time. Sails it up over the middle and it's caught. Rashawn Simon eyes into the end zone for the touchdown on that particular play. That one bounces by Simon eyes who has to trek back inside his own 15 to get it and with a few moves breaks into some open field and gets it up to the 33s. He could get a carry and put Calgary in the field goal position but Buckley will go to the air all sorts of time over the middle. Complete for Brendan Thera, who turns it across the 40, down to the 35, steps out of bounds. As we mentioned, this one coming from 43. Mark gets a good boot into it, sails it up, and sails it through with plenty of room to spare. You mentioned the wind change, Jim. That may have had a, a, played a factor on this, but he's got to be able to jump on that and, and hang on to it. Recovering the ball, it looked like, was Jordan Lennon. You got that right, and the ball is in the red zone for the Bison. Stops, throws to the end zone. He's got a man, Smith's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, her. The rushing leader in the Canada West and the Canada West MVP for plays like this. Saying hands it to Mercer Timmis, huge hole. Check that, Quan Ty Lu. From falling off, but I mean, that is, that is just absolutely huge and he's off to the races, everybody Went with the flow of the play. They run a nice little counter back to Ty Lu. As the placement's down and the kick is up and through. So Johnny Mark, three for three this game, four for across four. Across the 25. Yance has time, puts it up over the middle. It is intercepted. Spalatine. Whatever option's going to suit it best. On first down from the 37, the modern day warrior, Matt Sorkin. Jordan Yance doing a nice job on two consecutive throws. Deep throws, he's finally connecting with his receivers. Sawyer doing a great job of coming back to this ball in the end zone. And Timmis breaks the tackle and has an open lane. Paging Dr. Goal Line, you are wanted in the end zone. Touchdown, Calgary Dinos. Third down and four, Yance rolls out, looking to the end zone, puts it up, Smith has got it, and he has the touchdown. The first team to win. Six straight Canada West championships in a row.